Hi, this is Gary with MacPost Now. On today's episode, let's look at the new ways that iCal lets you edit events. So iCal received some improvements in Snow Leopard. One of the big improvements is new ways to edit your event in iCal. This was a big problem in the past as it wasn't obvious or easy to edit events. Let's take a look. Now in previous versions of iCal, the way you edited events was that you selected it, you simply double clicked and came with this little pop-up window. And you still couldn't edit at this point. You could just see more information. You had to hit this edit button. Then you can go ahead and tab through the information and edit it. Press a done button that you can't see at the bottom of the screen and you are done. Kind of made it cumbersome to quickly edit these events. But we've got some new ways to do it now on Snow Leopard. The first way is to simply hit Command I immediately with the event selected. This goes ahead and brings up this info window here. You can tap through the items and change things you want. You can then go and hit Command W to close it. This actually makes it possible to edit things without using the mouse. So no using the mouse. I'm going to go ahead and I can tab forward events and shift tab backwards events. When I see an event I want to edit I just do Command I. I can then tab through the items in the event, make my changes and then I can do Command W to close it. Now if you like using this method rather than the old one you can use it permanently by going to iCal's Preferences and under the Advanced tab click on Open Events in Separate Windows. Now when I've done that if I double click on an event instead of getting that little bubble it immediately goes right to this Inspector window. Now if you have a lot of events to edit one of the things you can do is open up a floating inspector that will change according to what you have selected. You do this with Command Option I and then you get this inspector window. Now whatever I select will appear in this inspector window. You have to click on it to then go ahead and edit things but you can. So it helps you basically go through events that you've got and see all the details about them very quickly instead of having to open up individual windows for each one of them. Now while we're talking about iCal let's go ahead and take a look at another cool new feature which is the ability to easily add calendars from different online services such as Yahoo and Gmail. So go to iCal Preferences like I just did, click on Accounts, click on the plus button at the bottom and you'll be able to go ahead and choose from different account types. A CalDAV a calendar account, Exchange 2007 of course and also Google and Yahoo. All you need to do then is enter your email address or ID and password for either Google or Yahoo. It will find all of your calendars and make them available to you in iCal and it will automatically sync new events back and forth between them. So there's a look at a couple of ways that Apple improved iCal for Snow Leopard. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.